Today we will be showing you how to replace the tape cartridge magazine in a quantum scalar i3 and i6 tape library. This replacement will not require downtime, however, the robot cannot perform operations with a magazine removed from it, so this will be best to do when no robotic operations are needed. If you need to order a replacement left side magazine for your i3 or i6 tape library from the rocket platform, please use part number 3-04930-01. If you need to order a replacement right side magazine for your i3 or i6 tape library from the rocket platform, please use part number 3-04940-01. The easiest way to go about replacing the magazine is to unlock the magazine using the button for that magazine on the front panel. By hitting this button it will unlock the magazine and it can be pulled out the tapes transferred to a new magazine and the new magazine inserted. However, if the magazine is damaged or cannot be removed this way, you will need to use the manual release. To unlock the magazine manually, you will need to use a small screwdriver inserted into the magazine release hole located on the front face of the magazine. You can then remove the magazine, transfer the tapes to the replacement magazine, and insert it. Once the replacement magazine is inserted, the robot will inventory and then come to a ready state. It is recommended you perform an inventory from your backup software to ensure that the inventory between the library and software is synced before doing any further backup jobs. Any questions about doing an inventory in your backup software should be directed to your software support or manufacturer. If you are having any issues with the magazine replacement procedure or the replacement magazine does not fix the issues you are having, please reach out to us at support at and we will be happy to assist you.